Welcome back to Rhino series, Rhino basic series. This is part three. I'm going to discuss the transform, all commands in transform. First is the split. We can use split by the use of spline and also surface. If the spline is not intersected with the object, it will not split. Select objects to split. Cutting edge. So it is not possible because the, the cutting object is not intersected with this object. Front viewport, the line is intersected with the object, although in the in the right side or the top is not but this will work in front select object cutting edge so this is what happened but here this is not possible here is not possible because it is not intersected so this must be intersected with the object in order to to split this object and do now this time we will use is uh, trim command same select object select cutting object select object to trim uh, sorry cutting object center select object to trim so this is it okay the difference is that if you trim the object is deleted while the split is is just cutting into two okay let's proceed to uh, surface as a cutting edge Split, select objects to split, cutting objects. So this is it. Same. If it's a stream, select cutting object, select object to stream. So that's it. Okay, next is um. array the first array is rectangular so you need to copy this in the x axis or in y axis or in z axis array select objects array select number and x direction uh, let's say 5 y direction 1 z direction 1 spacing is uh, 10 so this is it now if doing that to array that in y direction array select object x direction 1 y direction 5 z 1 spacing is 10 so that's it i'm going to array that in z direction this one okay in front viewport array array one y one z is five Z is 5 Spacing is 10 C 
this is the array in z direction okay let's set this one new uh, let's create a new file in just small objects the next is array along the path okay if i have a path say draw a path okay now i'm going to array this one along this path so array select objects ah array curve select objects select path number of items let's say 20 okay so that's it it will divide equally with this path another one is polar array uh, let's say this is our center point it's a point now I'm going to array this one rotate polar select objects select center number of items let's say 16 angle 360 so this is it polar array okay these are the transforms copy this is the copy command or mode okay press this one select object enter click or you can drag that is move command okay last is the scale command okay this is a rectangle or a box if you look at the viewport this is the depth and the width if it is in front this is the height and the width if it is in right side this is the depth and the height okay now scale command has two 1d and 2d the 1d is you have to scale this one uh, disables now select reference point or something like that you can scale it up okay uh, let's say enable or two scale 1d So you have to scale it in one uh, one dimension only. Say I am scaling the depth, or if I'm going to scale the width, this is what happened. If I'm going to scale both depth and width, scale to D. See. If I'm going to scale here the height and the width same but the depth is the same if I'm going to scale the height and the depth I'm using the right side viewport so that is the scale 1d and the scale 2d so those are the things that will be used to to transform objects in making um, different kind of objects in rhino so that's all for part three for the basic series thank you